scenes, Gabriel's also contributing to popular music by giving his own money and time to help musicians from developing countries break into the Western music industry. He stepped in to prevent the bankruptcy of an organization called WOMAD, which promotes ethnic or world music. Siobhan Bullock met up with him. I think quite a lot of artists get stuck in this rock and roll factory of album tour, album tour, and after a while, um, that's all you've got in your experience to write about in some ways, uh, and I think that's no longer interesting to me. I'm 42 years old, and there are other things that I want to explore and do with my life. Since leaving Genesis nearly 20 years ago, Peter Gabriel has had a successful solo career. In the 80s, he helped set up WOMAD, the world of music, arts, and dance organization, which promotes world music to the West. Last week, only a few months after WOMAD's 10th anniversary, Peter Gabriel helped rescue the organization from its £300,000 debt. Personally, yeah, I mean, I think it's one of the things I am most proud of having, you know, been part of, because I think WOMAD has helped to uh, change people's attitudes towards musicians from other countries. WOMAD's activities include recording sessions, tours, and this annual festival in Wiltshire. This is really the challenge, is somehow to get third world music uh, into the normal viewing scope and listening scope of the Western audience. Uh, I think uh, Peter uh, has done some marvelous work. WOMAD's success has made it easier for other world artists to conquer the West. They've been signed up by record companies and now world music is becoming a boom area. I think there's a definite correlation between Peter's uh, use of and championing of uh, world music and his great innovation in videos. And that is, is that he is someone who has his eyes and ears open to the new. Peter Gabriel has won awards for his videos and his latest, Steam, uses all the tricks in the book and more. With Steam, was playing around with uh, ideas you know, between man and woman and how each sort of can exploit the other and, I mean, it was all to do with relationships, really trying to take a, a humorous slant at uh, male-female interaction. But Chippendale was a lot of fun. Um, that wasn't actually my body, which I think is fairly obvious, unfortunately. I'm very surprised that there are things that people find shocking with steam. Because we're trying you know, to say something as well as entertain. Peter Gabriel is really the, the artist who's earned his Saint Peter nickname because as an artist he is willing time and time again to do something absolutely brave.